today we are going to take you on the ultimate food tour around the oldest Chinatown in the world. Alright guys, so first things first that we're going to try is the famous fried shop out. Never had fried shop out before. No, have you? I'm so excited. I don't even know what's like in the middle. We're going to yeah. have to find out. But currently the weather is pang it. It's pouring down. Yeah, it's pouring down, man. So we're having to hide. Look, we are going to order some shop out. Fried shop out, yes. What kind of pot? 35 pesos. It's like hoovering, sir. Mm. Wow. Ah. Okay, so first time trying fried chop out. To be honest, I thought it would be like harder. It's still quite soft. It just seems like the bottom that is fried. It's really hot. Wow. I feel like I'm gonna burn my tongue. Oh wow. Didn't get any meat yet, so let's have another bite. That is so good. Sorry about the thunder. Oh, it's so tasty. Mm. It tastes like the inside of a dumpling. Is it? Yeah. Wow. But with the amazing shop out bread on the outside, the bottom's crispy and the top is nice and soft. Really good. I prefer this to normal shop out for sure. It smells amazing though. Mmm. Wow, I feel good. It tastes like the inside of a dumpling, right? Mm. I thought it would be more crispier because it's obviously fried. But it seems like they only fried the, the bun, which is the bottom one. But this is so nice. Oh my god. Mm. Oh god. <laughs> so that was 35 pesos, which I think is a great deal and it tastes amazing. You have to try that if you're here, guys. I know a bit of bit Chinese donut. Chinese donut. Mm. Mm. What do you recommend? Milky. Milky. Oh, sige, 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 kuya. If you say so. Salamat, kuya. Our next thing that we're gonna try is the milky bitcho bitcho. And it's basically um, a Chinese donut covered in milk powder. Just look at that. It's fully coated in milk powder. So let's give this a go. Mm. Wow. It's very chewy. I thought it would be very milky. But it's not. It's quite sweet. Mm. Well, I like that. Mm. Very nice. You got powder all over um, your face. <laughs> powder everywhere, but it's okay. It's really chewy actually. It's quite crispy. And then the milk powder is kind of brings some sweetness to it. Oh, I enjoyed that. 50 pesos for a whole bag. I thought that was lightning, but it was just a car light. <laughs> it really stunned me. So it's literally pouring down. And we're trying to find an umbrella, mm. but we can't find any. It's funny because literally every person I see walking past has an umbrella. I'm like, umbrella. where have you got this from? So annoying. But anyway, we're trying to look for our next food spot. Mm. So give this video a like so that it stops raining. Yes. Give us good luck. Alright guys, so our next stop is here at Chuan Ki, which is the oldest fast food here in Chinatown. And it has been open since 1940. I can't wait. We just ordered some fried chicken, braised beef, and some drinks. Alright, so I got my first drink, which is black gulaman. It's like a halo halo, but with gulaman. Selamat tate. 
It's actually so busy here, guys. Like, we had to queue up for 10 minutes. Mm. Mm. That's so refreshing. Just the more tea, dude. Yes, please. I love gulama. So one of the most popular things that people seem to be eating here is actually this tin full of dumplings. The reason we didn't get dumplings is because one of our next spots is going to be dumplings. But I've got the braised beef here. It comes with rice and oh, it does look good to be fair. Oh, how good. Quite chewy actually, but the flavour is insane. Oh. I've got the chinoi fried chicken. Let's give this a go. And the gravy. It's literally covered in batter. It looks so crispy. Mmm. It's so juicy, it just oozes out. It's super crispy. However, it's like the batter's just falling off. It's super nice, very juicy. And just look at that. Just look how moist that looks. Alright, so that fried chicken and the braised beef was so nice. And now we're on the lookout for dumplings. Alright, so we've just purchased some dumplings from Dong Bay Dumplings. It cost me 200 pesos for 14. And that's between me and Zoe. And that is the smallest one they've got. Let's cover it up with some soy. Mmm. It's actually quite warm. Oh, they're so nice. What's up? I can taste some vegetables in there. Mmm. The filling is very small, like the inside. But like if you can see here, let me see if I can show it. Like you can see the filling there, it's mainly like lots of greens, green onions, and then a little bit of meat in there. Ooh. It is nice though, not gonna lie. Mmm. That great. So that's chopstick skills right now are lacking. Yeah. Ready? Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Best dumpling I've ever had. Really? It was so tasty. It's not overpowering at all. Mm. It's the perfect amount of filling and flavour. Mm. Oh, it's my favourite thing ever. And that's such a good price as well. You get 14 dumplings for 200 pesos. Mm. And it's still quite warm. Can we come again? <laughs> We need to finish this first. That's fine, I can finish it. <laughs> it just melts in your mouth mm. and the flavour is just so good. This is always 10th dumpling. <laughs> Honestly, so good. I'll eat them all. Mm. All right, so I ordered some Shaolong Bao from Binondo Bites. And it's 125 pesos for five pieces. Just look at that. They're quite big actually. Let's give it a go. Oh. <laughs> In it. Oh my god, that's so nice. Like, look at the inside. It's quite sweet. I think it's because of the soy sauce. Like, when I bit to it, all the soup from the inside literally started squirting. Wow. It's very, very hot though. Mmm. Oh! It's still hot? Oh, Rob. I'm gonna throw it out. You look like you're gonna cry. <laughs> look at that. It's just oozing. Wow. Wow. There's so much sabao in there. Mm. I love that it's kind of crunchy on the bottom where it's been fried and then really soft at the top. Mm. Super flavorful. Mm. Really good. So I'm going to try an ubi egg tart. I don't think egg tart is necessarily Filipino, but obviously ubi is. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's good. I haven't come across any ubi yet though. It's really falling apart. So there. Master wrap. 
bit my thumb. <laughs> bit of finger. <laughs> what? We may have a little bit of the ube. Mm. It's nice. It's very fresh as well. Like most of the egg tart that we have, it's like cold. It's not warm whatsoever. But this one's like fresh to cook. So we actually found all these foods from TikTok as we literally searched the um, Binondo Street Food Tour in TikTok and there's just so many different options there, it's amazing. But actually guys, right behind me is the Binondo Church, as you can see. Oh, wait, 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 there we go. We're nearing to the end of our little food trip. We've got to go to probably one of the most popular places which is Olympia. So we've just seen three fire engines, one of which is actually purple, and the Cafe Mezzanine, which is the one that's speciality is the bull soup that Zara refused to try, and that's why we didn't try it, guys. It wasn't available it's as not well, me. so... Um, Zara refused. Um, um, no, we didn't go and look. It wasn't available. It says on the that, menu, not that, available. That was in a different restaurant, Zara. Anyhow, um, half of the proceedings that the restaurant makes go to the local fire service here in Binondo. So that's really good. That's so good. But anyway, let's go and look for Lumpia. this amazing lumpia stool. Mm. Okay, send to my daughter. You take a picture. Looks more like a burrito. It's quite big for a lumpia, no? Yes, a lumpia only. Thank you. No worries. You too. And you. So we're here at the lumpia house and I'm about to eat probably the most expensive lumpia I've ever bought, but it's 100 pesos, but it is fat to be fair. Look at that, that is fat. That's, that's not a lumpia, that's a burrito. It looks more like a burrito, Fez. Not really sure how to eat it. She's full. <laughs> Let's see that. Oh my god. Wow. There's so many vegetables in there. I feel like I'm having a roast dinner. Honestly. And you've got like all these vegetables and then I think there's sugar in it. Oh really? It's like Is crunchy sweet? sweetness to it. Along with like the bitterness <laughs> of the vegetables. Coconut sugar? Maybe coconut sugar. Mm. Mmm, good. Interesting. Very different to anything I've ever had before. Wow, that's a crazy Olympia. Both fat. I'm not sure if there's any meat to it, to be honest. I it's don't like, think so. I think it's all vegetarian. All vegetables. Mmm. It's nice though. Mmm. It's literally like a vegetarian burrito. Mm. Most unique lumpia I've ever had. Oh, it's all falling out the bottom. <laughs> After two hours stuck in traffic, we are finally back. And if you didn't know, we are actually staying here in Seda Hotel in Manila Bay. It's a brand new hotel which only opened three months ago and it has got so many good facilities. I'm talking swimming pool, gym, games room, crash like where they can look mm. after your kids, and a spa. It's very family friendly guys. We had a little spa retreat yesterday, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, we woke up and we were like all brand new. Yeah, we are staying in a suite and it is beautiful and the bed is so, so comfy. It also includes a breakfast buffet. But anyway guys, we had such an amazing time at Binondo at the Chinatown. I can't believe that was my first time there. Yeah, and even on the way there, as I was going, oh, Where I've is never this? seen this. He was like, wow, that's the National Museum. I felt Museum. like an actual tourist. Yeah, <laughs> in your own country. And then he was like, wow, that's the Statue of Rizal. He's like the world, what were you saying? The, the hero. National hero. And all this stuff. So I'm glad that on the way you got to see a load of things that like, I guess you learned about at school, but never fully got to see. So that was kind of cool. And we should definitely check out Intramuros. We ran yes. out of time because we were struggling to get a grab and it was getting dark. 
but let us know guys have you got any suggestions for intramuros uh do you want to see us go to intramuros let us know down below and we will make it happen but anyway the food at binondo was amazing there's just so many mm -hmm different type of food that I've never thought before. And especially when we arrived, it seemed so, so busy. So mm. I really thought we were gonna get hassled quite a lot, especially me, because it does happen, you know, like when they see foreigners, they do often, you do get hassled, but I didn't get hassled at all, no. which I was really surprised about because it was quite a busy area. Um, so that was really, really nice. And I thoroughly enjoyed trying all the different foods. It was almost like Filipino foods with Chinese twist. Yeah. Like fusion. Yes. But anyway guys, we're so full, we're yeah. so tired, so we're going to have to end the video here. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down and below. press that notification bell on. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.